Hey guys, and welcome back to more Subnautica. So the last episode, I was mad I didn't have the beacon, and I was also a little bit upset we didn't get the diamond, because I didn't want us to really continue without those items. So, um, on my exploration, um, I also completed a thermal plant. So, uh, the thermal plant is another free way of getting electricity, much like the solar panel, but you do it near, like, Areas that are high heat. Um, mostly you'll get thermal vents and even kind of like underground lava pools. So thermal plant is really good used kind of in those areas. So this is kind of my haul. I wanted to leave it just so you guys can kind of see what I what I got. Lots of salt and titanium, some silver, diamond. Um, I wanted to just kind of have the stuff so we could quickly do a bunch of crafting here as well. So we can craft the laser cutting for penetrating standard titanium doors. So we'll equip that. And then we want to um, build a couple new items. So we can build the compass. Um, and we also want to build the radiation suit. We can also um, start on the vehicle bay here and then the um, sea moth. So I believe I kind of set a container here. I didn't know how interested you guys would be in seeing me like create a whole bunch of this stuff. So I kind of went ahead and made a majority of the stuff kind of ahead of time. Whatever. So we're just quickly into your inventory. It shouldn't take too long. I'm not sure if I need any of this titanium, but I guess if I need it, I can come back for it. Bible. Need the second lead. Could make one for salt. Don't want anything else in here. Oh, it only takes two. I thought it took three. Well, we have an extra diamond now. Which is good. Oh. We can put the salt in here. May as well. Lead, salt, gold. Do we need two glass still? Oh, it's the two glasses in that other one. So. Whatever. Oh, wait, there's where I'm all of my stuff as well. Let's just kind of empty our inventory into here then. Copper. See, see, they fill up quite quickly, so. So I believe this is most of the stuff I needed. So we'll grab all this stuff and we should be good to go. Um, oh yeah, there's silicone here. I probably only need one of these silicones unless, oh no, we do need the other one. Cause we need, oh and the fiber mesh I think is in here actually. Yes. See how it all organized for you guys. So we can make the radiation suit. So you get radiation gloves, kind of a helmet, and the suit itself. Each piece reduces the radiation you get, but you don't totally reduce radiation unless you use the helmet as well. Okay, so the second thing, oh, are we missing something? Oh yeah, the power cell, which is what we want to craft here. Silicone rubber and two batteries. So we're good there. I believe the second battery is for the um, for the sea moth itself. So we can start the second battery and make the vehicle bay. I think we also have a message here too. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. It sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former. That only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Seek fluid intake. So there you go. So we should have um, that mobile vehicle bay, which we do here. So we should be able to hop down for the moment. Just gonna put that radiation helmet in the equipment there. 
soon just throw that out. There'll be three or four kind of little, I think they're called pinter drones. Can't quite remember. You actually initiate with it. Oh, and the lead. So I did have one lead in my inventory, but I only grabbed one lead out of the container. So, um, misc. So, lead is actually a much more important resource than you think. So, hop in. Oops. One too many clicks. The and there we go. Safe mode of transport. But remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. So they're just gonna kinda craft the sea moth there. And it has been crafted. So the sea moth also has a light and dark modes. So there we go. There's a couple more items we can craft here though. We, I don't believe we can craft a thermometer, but we can craft the compass. This is a wearing kit and a wire. So the compass goes in our two kind of auxiliary th slots. So then the nice thing about the compass is you can easier keep track of what direction stuff is. So east. Okay, that's not as big on the pot because you can kind of figure out by where the roar is. But say you want to you're deep underwater okay and you in a cave you get turned around okay which direction is which you know you're heading southwest but which direction is southwest you would literally have to go to the go up look for the aurora if you're far away it's going to be quite a bit in the distance you'll be like okay so no aurora was east so the opposite direction would be west so southwest okay where, and you'd have to go up. If you're 100 feet down, you'd have to go up to do that. Where here, you just look at your compass. Oh, southwest, that direction. Okay, we'll keep swimming. So, definitely recommend. Um, ooh, did I miss that peeper by that much? But definitely recommend it, especially because we're not ha using any other kind of items at the moment. Okay, that's plenty. I just need kind of these guys. I think I do have water, but I like to kind of keep up with my other ones. And if I can grab a peeper, I will. Also, if you can grab salvage. Lots of salvage around here, actually. You will use all this stuff. Oh, also, we can make a, a computer chip here, too. Because I'm not sure if you unlock more stuff when you do the computer chip. Can't quite remember, but lots of times you unlock stuff by kind of building stuff. And we will be using the computer chip eventually. So we'll just build it. What the heck? Just give it a shot. So, is that another radio message? Okay, we could actually go do that. So, do do we want two peepers? Probably. So yeah, it's showing that it's fourteen hundred and fifty-six, kind of deep. So that's pretty significant depth. Okay, so we got the water there. We got our cooked food. Just gonna kind of get my stuff kind of back up. Oh, we even got a stalker tooth last time, which was pretty, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So even just put the, do we have space for the peeper in here? We do for the moment. Even have, well, we might need that stuff here in a moment, but. So what does it take to make a computer chip? It does, okay, that copper wire was what I had. I did make the extra wiring kit just for space, but that is what I needed the uh, copper wire for. Okay, so now we have the advanced warring kit. Acquired. I knew you got something when you built it. So, I'm not sure if you need a specialized thing, but you can't build a thermometer. 
But I think the thermometer you can't build until you get kind of a, a base. But we don't have the moon pool yet. Right? I guess I guess that's the other thing we need to build is um, the habitat builder. So we have the computer chip, we need a warring kit and a battery. Well, I think we actually probably nearly have all these things. I need another battery, which is easy. That's just a copper. Have the warring kit. So yeah, we just need another battery. We actually want, probably want two, because we want to have one for a glide as well. So we want one copper. Okay, I usually like the equipment one like right, like kind of as high as possible so you don't run it, bump into it and stuff. So it's not, because you're not going to be, that's the one you're going to be using kind of the least. So, copper, perfect. Okay, where's my one, two, three, four. Again, kind of spread out your mushrooms if you can. Those core trip samples are still down there. I thought they were supposed to disappear over time. Maybe I'm incorrect. Okay. So, oh, it's, it, they're under electronics. Like two batteries. Also, to recharge a Seamoth, it actually uses power cells, not batteries. And power cells charge a lot slower than batteries do. But we're gonna be building a moon pool, which kind of gets around both those things. I have another peeper I can put in here. I guess so. Okay. So you should be able to actually build. No, am I missing something? Didn't think so. No, I have it. Okay. The builder two is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Oops. Didn't want to pull my knife out. Arg. Man, I still have a peeper. Like, how many peepers do I have in my inventory? So we got two water in there, which is fine. We'll leave that. I have quite a few peepers, but um, it's right here. There's the power cell. So you could just pull the power cell out totally if you want. <laughs> totally recommend doing that, but oops, you don't even have to like equip it. You can just that way but yeah that's that's how you repair the sea moth when it's out of energy it's just you can't just like hit r like you do with this guy so so habitat builder pretty much the same thing so we do have a scanner room which is nice but we don't have a moon pool yet right Where's moon pool? It must be in base pieces. Hmm. Unless we don't, I guess we don't even know about the moon pool yet, which is why. So, so I like to start my base with moon pools, but if we're really struggling to find the moon pool, we will. So, just thinking, I want to head to the Aurora. But I want to do that in its own episode, because it's kind of a long thing. But maybe we'll make this a shorter episode here, guys. Um, I guess we can prepare. We'll quickly prepare for the stuff we need for the Aurora. There's a couple things we can actually prepare. Oops, I probably don't actually need any of these. So we have our battery. Drop off my stalker too. So you can just put it in here. So... The things we want to go to the Aurora. Ooh, we even have a message. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Oh, that's neat. So, Key's last broadcast location. So, 
So this is new to me. I play. I actually played quite a bit, but I wasn't doing the broadcast because I wanted to kind of um, have them be kind of new and interesting for me. So, so anyway, one thing we're going to need is an extra fire extinguisher. We do have one fire extinguisher, and there is ex fire extinguishers on the Aurora that you can find, but I like to have an extra one just so you're not stuck without one. There is items you want to grab that there's kind of extra fire kind of covering. You also don't want to have a lot of kind of heavy items on you, but anyway, guys, I think we will call this an episode here. We'll be back in the next episode for more. Thanks guys. Later.